Greenwood Village, Stevenson Lexus of Frederick, and Stevenson Lexus of Lakewood. 2022 ES versus 2021-2022 competitors. Information from manufacturers' websites as of 5-3-2021. If you win, congrats. If not, you'll get your wager back as a free bet. Must be 21 and physically present in Colorado. New users only. Bet amount of qualifying wager returned only if wager is settled as a loss. Paid as a single bet credit. Must be used within 14 days. See Caesars.com slash promos for full terms. Gambling problem? Call or text 1-800-522-4700. Caesars Sportsbook. Download. In Colorado, keeping things chill is just in our nature. All we need is a tent and a fire to create our new favorite outdoor bar. We love floating down the Colorado River, especially when the VIP float is dedicated to ice and beer. And the snow won't drive us indoors. We'll just kick back in our hot tub and stash our Coors Light in the snow just a few feet away. Coors Light, keeping Colorado chill. 2020 Coors Brewing Company, Golden, Colorado. Celebrate responsibly. Coors Light proudly brews throughout the U.S. Every bite, a better burger is more than just a motto at Smash Burger. It's a lifestyle that includes top quality ingredients. Have you tried the classic Smash Burger? Certified Angus beef, American cheese, lettuce, tomatoes, red onions, pickles, smash sauce, and ketchup all on a toasted bun. Mm. What are you waiting for? Order whatever smash you're craving online at smashburger.com or any location near you, including the new one in Lowry where you can grab a drink and watch the game. Smash Burger, every bite, a better burger Atención. the altitude radio network welcomes you to award-winning coverage of colorado avalanche nhl it's the stanley cup final colorado tampa bay nazim kadri was the hero of game four's thriller with his overtime winner it did go in it did it did we it won did. It. tonight tonight the Avalanche are one win from bringing the Cup back to Colorado. Let's go. Oh, wow. The back attack is back. Oh, Jack. Captain. My Captain. The moon is low. It's the Stanley Cup Final. Game 5. The Avalanche and the Lightning. Now. From Ball Arena in Denver, Colorado, here's the voice of the Avalanche, Connor McGahee, with Peter McNabb on the Altitude Radio Network. And everyone. And welcome a mile above sea level with the legendary legend Peter McNabb. I'm Connor McGee, and this is the Stanley Cup Final. Tonight, the Avalanche have a chance at hockey immortality. But we'll have to wait just a little bit longer. Because first, the United States National Anthem, as introduced by public address announcer Alan Roach. Ladies and gentlemen, kindly remove your caps and join us for the singing of the Star Spangled Banner as performed this evening by Amanda Hawkins. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed had the twilight Gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming. tingling rendition of the Star Spangled Banner performed by Amanda Hawkins. 
Well, tonight, a group of hockey players have a chance to live out a childhood dream. As kids, they fell in love with hockey, and with the game came its greatest reward, the Stanley Cup. Hours spent pretending to play in the Cup Final with your friends, lifting an invisible trophy over your head after scoring the goal that clinched the Cup. Tonight, those players have a chance to make it a reality. Tonight, the Avalanche can bring the Cup back to Colorado. So put on your listening sweaters for the Avs and Lightning. Force of nature versus atmospheric electrical discharge. Live for your listening pleasure around North America and around the world on the Altitude Radio Network. Peter McNabb. Yes, sir. These opportunities never come along, and this group has come so far in so little a time. Oh, my goodness. It's, it's you know, they're where exactly where they want to be. They're at home with 3-1 lead. They really need just play play a smart first period. Here's McKinnon with the puck, trying to blaze in the far circle. He shoved aside down below the goal line. Nachushkin forces the mistake there with Landis Gog. Nachushkin has the puck on his stick near side hash marks to get it back to the point. Taves lets it go. Shot on save made by Vasilevsky. Doesn't cover it up. Keeps it going. And the Tampa Bay Lightning will get it towards center ice. Galorn. Sends it in, almost offside. It gets deep, and now Valerian Nachushkin will play it off the wall. Taves will settle it down out there with Kale McCarr. And the forward group of Landis Gogmakin and Nachushkin will go off for a switch. Taves ahead for McCarr at the red line. Now for Arturi Lekkinen, trying to backhand it down the wall. That was blocked and sent the other way. Jack Johnson over to get it. Johnson inside the near circle. Head now for Miko Ranton. Headman feed for Lekkinen and hit him in the back. And now it's Jan Ruda who tunes it the other way. Lateral pass for Nick Paul. Paul shoved into the boards nicely by Josh Manson. Boy, can he be strong as an ox. Head now for Kadri. As in the neutral zone, he's one on three. Brought back in offside by Tampa. The whistle blows. And we get a whistle. A minute and ten seconds into the first period. If you're listening on the way to the typically quad just across the street, it is at capacity. They are letting no more people oh in. So you're going to have to find another place to enjoy game five of the Stanley Cup final tonight. I'm pretty sure there will be a few televisions downtown here. We're going to watch the game. No kidding. Face off of the neutral zone. Landis Gogdon company back out there. It's won by Tampa McDonough. Over for Sergachev. He'll rim it around near side. Bo Byram had to go off his skate. Nobody knew where it was. Sergachev had it poked away by Landis Gog. Ahead for Nachushkin. Two on two through the neutral zone. Nachushkin down the near wing. Lost it. Got it back. Nachushkin in the corner. Leans in to Chernak. And now Sergachev takes it with a loose puck. Sends it down ice. This should be icing on the Tampa Bay Lightning. And it is as Bo Byram is the first player back for Colorado. And Bo Byram was the first player that realized that puck was in last game. And, you know, it's just a, such a great moment, obviously, for all the Avalanche. But when you look at his game, 28-25. In that 28 minutes, 25 yeah. seconds, he was plus two. Four hits. It, 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 everyone was saying, well, wait till Bo Byram turns into a defenseman. <laughs> He's a defenseman now. He's got the head for the game, the skill set for the game. He's... He's been a major part of why the Avalanche are where they are. Another face-off, one by Tampa. Around but not out. Glove down by Kiel McCarr. Quickly across for Nathan McKinnon. He'll rim it deep. Nachushkin will lift the stick. Landis Gog is there. Hopped over his plate. McCarr will send it back down the wall behind Andre Vasilevsky. Sergachev picks it up. He'll reverse course. Over now for Chernak. Far inside circle right at the middle. Tipped by Tampa. This is going to be icing again. They try to get a change, but the lungs are going to remain tired in Avalanche. Players can make a switch if they so desire. It'll be really interesting to see how, what kind of game is played here. Mm. Is it going to be physical? Yeah. And, because I don't think Tampa Bay wants to have the Avalanche power play out there a whole bunch. Avalanche power play up 45% yeah. of the series. Nico Rantanen on the draw out there with Lekkinen and Kadri. Taves and McCarr behind. Faceoff is technically won by the Avalanche. They get it deep, but Chernak is there looking up ice. Pressure coming. Sergachev escapes. Hands it off for Stamkos. Far side for Andre Pallot. One-on-one -on -one with Kale McCarr. Right on Darcy Kemper. He gloves it down and hands it off for Devon Taves. Taves up the boards. Landis Gog run into. Puck goes past him. And now Hedman will send it back ahead for Belmar. Lateral feed off the skate of Maroon. It's Rantanen. Head for Kadri. Squeezes around Hedman for a moment, but then Hedman got a piece of him and threw him down to the ice. Two and a half minute mark of the first period. Shots are one apiece. No score yet. Now Jack Johnson 
Gets in on the hit parade, and he puts one on pierre Edward Belmar. Johnson, head for JT Comfer, lobs it down ice. This is going to be icing on Colorado this time with 17-18 to go in the first. The law firm of Berg Simpson reminds you any rebroadcast of this game is strictly prohibited without the written consent of the Avalanche or National Hockey League. When the game's on the line, go to BergSimpson.com. That's B-U-R-G Simpson.com. Good lawyers changing lives. Maroon. Yeah. Three hits. Solid. No problem. But then he comes out and, and he slashes right. Jack Johnson behind the Why? like 20 seconds after the whistle. <laughs> I think, oh, you know, I think Jack Johnson.